What comes to mind when you hear the word authority? When you think about somebody being in charge of you, how do you feel? I think if we're honest, some of you would say that you really hate it. You think having someone in charge of you or telling you what to do is annoying. You feel like you can make decisions for yourself. So having someone else do it is really frustrating. But no matter how we feel about people being in charge of us and our life, the reality is authority is not something we're all going to have to deal with in life. It's something we're all gonna need. Without it, the world would be complete and total chaos. I mean, imagine what it would be like if there were no rules for driving, no traffic lights, no speed limits, no stop signs. It would make being on the road completely different than it is now. Or what if your school had no rules? You could show up when you wanted, leave when you wanted, eat all the food in the teacher's lounge, skip the mile run in PE, and never do your homework. I mean, it may sound great in theory, but in reality, it would be insanity. You'd get to the end of your school career and barely be able to stir together a math problem. Not good news for our future, am I right? My point is this. Authority has its place in our world. It has a purpose. In fact, it's part of God's design and the way he wanted things to be. We all have to learn how to live with it. We have to learn how to deal with the people in charge of us even if it's hard, even when it's frustrating, even when you feel like they don't deserve to be in charge, and even when we're not sure they're handling their authority the right way. We have to learn to deal with authority in our lives no matter what. With so many different ideas of what authority is and isn't supposed to be, I think the best thing we can do is look back at the beginning. When God created the world, it was created with authority in mind. God made the stars, the sun, the moon, the water, the mountains, the flowers, the animals. And God had authority over all creation. God was in charge. But then God made humans. Adam and Eve were created and then they were given authority over all the earth. That means that humans we're in charge of taking care of the things that God made on this earth. Being in charge was part of the plan for us as humans. And for thousands of years after that, people used their authority in all kinds of different ways. Some people were really great leaders, some weren't. Some people really treated people and the things that they were in charge of well, and some people didn't. Some followed the law, some didn't. All throughout history, humans have been struggling to know what it looks like to use their authority in a good way. And then Jesus came to earth. And the whole authority thing got a little more complicated. At the time, religious leaders had a lot of authority. They were the people that were in charge. But when Jesus came in, he lived like he had a lot of authority too. In fact, he even went as far to say it. Take a look at one of the Jesus followers, a guy named Matthew, and look at his story that he wrote. Okay, so this is a pretty simple sentence, but it has a really big impact on our lives today. Jesus wasn't just talking here. He was telling the truth. When he came to earth, he came with the ultimate authority. He had the ability to literally do anything he wanted to do with the authority that God had given him. And a lot of the religious leaders probably thought that Jesus would use his authority to do things like make more rules or punish people who didn't follow the law or only be kind to people who believed in him. But what did Jesus actually do with that authority? Well, he did a lot of great things that nobody really expected. He healed the sick. He treated women as equals. He forgave people's sins. He welcomed people who others turned away. He told everyone that they were invited to believe in and follow God. Jesus never used his authority to make people feel hurt or less than him. Instead, he used it to make their lives better. And I think that what that can teach us is this. Jesus is the example of good authority. And that changes everything, because no matter what our experience with authority has been in our lives, we can look to Jesus to understand what authority is truly supposed to look like. When we see what he did and how he lived, 
we get a glimpse at what it looks like when someone uses their authority for good. Jesus is the example of good authority. He is the example of authority that we can trust and follow and even do our best to model. And when we're not sure about how people in charge in our lives are handling their authority, we can look to Jesus to be reminded of what real good authority can be like. When it comes to how we understand authority, Jesus changes everything. Jesus is the example of good authority. So how does that help us when it comes to dealing with the people in charge in our lives right now? How does knowing Jesus is the example of good authority help us with the authority in our lives today? Well, it shows us that good authority and what it looks like. And I think it starts by doing two things. The first, you think about what you know about Jesus. Think about the things that you know about the way he lived, the things he did, and the way he treated people. If you're not sure about some of this, your small group would be a great place to start figuring it out. Have a conversation with them today about the things that you know about Jesus. Maybe even make a list together of the things that you think make him a good authority figure somebody worth following. And the second thing, look for that same good in the authority figures in your life. Your teachers, your parents, your guardians, your coaches, your siblings, your babysitter, your small group leader, your school resource officer, your guidance counselor. Who are the people in charge of you? Maybe you love the way that they use their authority and maybe you don't. Either way, they're in charge. And one thing that can help you follow them is to look for the good in the way that they're leading. Look for the way that they're leading like Jesus. No, they won't be healing the sick or raising people from the dead, but they're definitely not going to be perfect like Jesus was either. But the authority figures in your life might be using kind words or giving you a second chance. They might be helping you at school or extending forgiveness when you mess up. Maybe they're treating everyone fairly and with respect. If you have someone in charge in your life right now, look for the positive things about the way that they're using their authority. Now let me stop right here and say that there's a difference between authority you just don't want to deal with and authority that's being abused. When your mom asks you to take out the trash and it makes you mad, she's not bad authority. You just feel annoyed that she's asking you to do it. And when someone is using their authority to abuse or harm or hurt you or treat you in a way that makes you feel like you have no power to say no, that's different. Remember, Jesus used his authority for good. And when someone is using their authority over you to do anything that isn't good, you need to speak up. So remember, Jesus is the example of good authority. And the truth is, we're all trying to figure out this authority thing, and that includes me.